Hey, good evening everybody. I'm Wesley with Red Manufacturing and Custom Welding. So I just want to do a quick video today. Uh, just show y'all what I'm working on this evening and uh, give you a quick tip. Uh, I got a call this afternoon from a guy. They're working on a cell phone tower out here in uh, Lindale, Texas. And they um, were just putting up a fence around uh, one of these guy wires here. It runs up to the cell tower and uh, they cut a post off too short and he just called and asked if I could re-weld it and I said yeah well he started out do y'all do mobile welding and I'm like yes sir what do you need I need a post welded back together to itself said, yeah, this, yeah I can do that that's that's great um so he said it's just four inch galvanized um just need it welded back to itself and bead ground down flush so that I can galv paint over, over it cold galvanized and paint over it I said no that's that's easy easy um so i just wanted to give you all a tip so i've already got all this fit up here now this is four inch just schedule 40 pipe galvanized pipe deal with this stuff all the time at work um in the fire sprinkler trade so easy money here's my tip for y'all even if this is just a simple project, chances are this post right here at that point is not going to have a lot of stress on it. It's a security fence. It's going to be a chain link fence going up around this thing. Chances are it's not going to be that critical. But here's my tip to y'all guys that are out there. Maybe y'all don't weld every day for a living. Maybe y'all don't get a chance to weld on pipe very often and you did get the chance. Something simple like this, in all honesty, all I had to do was slap this sucker together with a butt weld make it match and put a really heavy 6010 whip and pause bead on it and grind it down and it would have held just fine my advice under my minimum charge i've got plenty of time figured to do this and it'll help me in the long run fit this up like a piece of gas pipe yes it's galvanized it's going to weld a little bit different but fit it up like it's a piece of gas pipe because you'll need the practice all this is is a 2G but or a 2G open groove weld like we did in school every day forever. The only difference is is it's been cut jagged. It's not a clean cut. That's fine. I beveled it down, put a land on it, put my spacer in there. I didn't have my other spacer with me, so I just had to go with a little bitty 332 spacer. That's fine. I'm turning my welder up and I'm burning. All I did was set it up there before I beveled it. Put me a Sharpie mark, it's gone now, but put me a Sharpie mark in there where it lined up, beveled both sides, slapped it back together, lined my mark up, stuck my level on like this to make sure that it all matched up, both sides, tacked it, and I'm fixing to weld this thing out. So, like I said, anytime y'all get a chance to do something like this, do it. This could be just such a simple 15 minute job, roll up, weld it, and be done. But I want to put my time into it because I'm proud of my work. Like I said, this isn't necessarily structurally required to do it this way, but it's giving me practice. It's been a long time since I did a 2G weld on pipe. I'm excited to get it to do a 2G weld on pipe. It's just schedule 40, it's probably going to be two beads and a cap, and I'm going to be good. But I'm looking forward to it because it's what I like to do. So put your time into it. Put your pride into it. If you have the chance to do it proper, whether there's a proper way to weld the fence post back together or not, but if you get a chance to do it proper, do it. When I build H braces for fences, most of the time I'll do a Z-weave bead on my crossbar just because I need the practice. So that's my tip for the day. Thought that I'd give y'all a little quick video of what I'm doing. Y'all take it easy. Have a great rest of your night. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Because this is going on YouTube and Facebook. Um, like Facebook page. Check us out on Instagram. Uh, you can always search for us at hashtag RudManWelding. And you'll find us there. We are all over the place. Give us a call for your next welding need. I'm going to get this done before it gets dark. You have a great night.